I like Jumbo! Woo! Call it with a jalapeno on this dude! What a shot! <laughs> Thank you for watching my video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Now on to the video. Okay. Now I got to uh, to put the top on and uh, put the cedar around it. So uh, basically, I got the red cedar, and uh, I'll show you that in just a second. So look here, my cat's inside. I pulled out the. What you doing in there? What you doing in there? Cats love tiny hoes, don't they? So anyway, uh, I got the red cedar, and I'll show you that in a minute. I got to put it on the sides, and put it on the top. Then I got to put the top on, and put the cedar on the top. So uh, I'll show you the cedar. Let, let's go in and look at the cedar. I'm in my son's room, and it goes right there beside his trash can. That's where I'm going to put it. And uh, the cedar says to uh, leave it out for 48 hours. So that's what I've done. I got it and I've uh, I opened the box and I laid it out and you can see the cedar I got this cedar and it's laid out for the top and my other cedars outside uh, to be cut I've left it open in here my box is about empty I've only got two more pieces so uh, or three more pieces so that's what the cedar looks like got it at Lowe's it's uh, about 30 bucks I think aromatic cedar and that's what I'm gonna put on the uh, the main top and and the sides and the back and the front. So I'm gonna cover it in cedar, and it, it smells really, really, really good. So if you get a chance, I suggest using that because it smells great. So let's go cut some wood. cut now as you saw so we're going to uh, I'm just putting them on here with glue so I'm going to put glue on this side and I put glue on this side and we'll spread that out I got some popsicle sticks and we'll spread that out and try to hold that amber and we'll spread this out and put that on there I'm going to leave just the bottom of, of the table sticking out. So I'm not going to take this all the way to the bottom. So I'll leave the legs. Sticking out. So what we want to do is we want to come here and make it even with the bottom so we're going to kind of we're going to get that pretty much right there kind of even with the bottom and i'm going to get this one side perfectly even my table is level so if my table is level then i'm going to put my thing This side needs to come up just a fuzz. Down just a fuzz. Up just a fuzz. And needs to come up just a fuzz more. And there it is, perfectly level. So now I gotta clamp it. So let me clamp this side. Amber, if you'll help me right there. Mm -hmm. Put the clamp on it. No, scoot it up a little bit in the middle. Mm -hmm. Up, up, up. Right there. To Go ahead. Clamp her down. Okay, you got it? I think That's so. good. That's good. Uh, give me a paper towel and then we'll check this level again. 
and still perfectly level. So there we go. I'll clamp the other side and then that'll be it. All right? Okay, we'll give that in about uh, 20 minutes. That's what it says to let it set up. So we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do this one. And then the next one. Here's the clock. 5.30. I'm gonna take my popsicle stick and spread that glue out. Can't have too much glue. Or how much I have to wipe it up. I want it stuck. I'm not putting any nails or nothing in it. So I want it stuck. So basically I have to try to slide this down here. But that's not a big deal. Like that. So I'm gonna get it pretty close here. I gotta scoot it over. Back, back that off just a little. Got a little bit of room to play. Then pop that down in there. on that side. Go ahead and tighten it back up, Amber. Let me make sure this is... Oh, Amber, don't tighten it up yet. Loosen it, Amber. Yeah, I gotta scoot this over a little bit. Let me see this. Let me see this so I can straighten it up. Yeah, there it is. Like that. Use your piece of wood, see, and it makes both of them straight. See that? See that? Huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. Go ahead and tighten it down. You got your side? Yes. Get you one up top here. Get you one on this. There you go. Put it right here. Go oh, ahead, hey, I got this side. Got it? Yes. Okay. And let me put this side up. And I'll go ahead and slide that up a little bit. Put your put your piece of wood in there. There you go. You got it? Yes. Okay. And we'll lock her down. So basically I gotta do uh, the other, I gotta put about four, three more up there. So let me do, let me do those other three and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, I've got them all on there. I had to cut the top, but as you see the top's flush. A lot, a lot, a lot of clamps. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of clamps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen clamps. These are my pipe clamps. They go all the way through the back. And like I said, I gotta do the back as well, but we just got this one side. The uh the glue says the gorilla glue says it dries natural, which it does. But uh it says right here. Join and clamp for 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, allow bond to dry for 24 hours. So what I do is, is uh, I'm going to leave it clamped. And it don't hurt to leave it clamped overnight. Uh, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let it clamp and let it stay there 
for 24 hours and then I'll do the other side and let it stay clamped for 24 hours and uh, the reason I do that is because I'm not using any nails on this I'm just using glue so I want it to hold so I'm gonna let it um, dry completely bond with the uh, with the pine and uh, also I sanded the back of that cedar I sanded the back of it so that way that uh, it would hold better it would adhere to the glue better so I got to do this side the other side then we got to do the the front and the back and then the top as well up here so it's just gonna be a slow process uh, like I said, I'm going to let it dry for, for a day, then do the other side. That's another day. The back's a day. The front's a day. So it's just it's just going to take a little while. But furniture making is not, uh, is not something that you can do fast. But I'm doing my best. So let's let that dry, and uh, we'll come back once it's dry and, and start the other side. Or I might, as well, I might go ahead and do the other side. And show you what both of those is like. So we'll be back. All right, folks, we're back. As you see, I've got the got the side on it. Go ahead and turn it around if you want to, Amber. And don't have the front, but I do have the other side as well. And uh, those boards come different for different ones. Uh, those are uh, got white streaks on them. And so each board's marked up different. So I got to do the back as well. I haven't done the back. I just did both sides. But it uh, takes a while. It's 11.37 at night. So I did the one yesterday. And then today I did this side. And uh, kept them both locked down and uh, tight. And... As you can see, they're, they're tight. They're not going anywhere. And it's smooth with this. So, and then it's smooth with the back as well. So, looks pretty good. I like it. It smells great. So now I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do the front. Let me turn this around. I'm going to do the front here. And so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start down here at the bottom and come up. Now right here, I'm thinking about when I get right here about halfway, I'm thinking about just taking like a box cutter and cutting it. And then I can just leave just a small gap. And that way it doesn't look like it has any drawers. Now I know I'm going to be adding... I gotta add some kind of handle for him to pull that out. But I'm trying to come up with a way to where I can do it to where it's don't look like the normal one. So we'll see. But uh, let me get off here and quit talking. And let me try to do the front and get that done. So we'll, we'll be Okay, back. I've got the boards cut for the bottom drawer. So it's just sitting on there. As you see it, I've got it sitting on this, and it's perfectly even with the bottom. Up there. And on this side. So I've got those set up, and what I'm going to do is, is I use the utility knife to cut this one. And I'm going to come and put this one. And I'm going to put this one. Right here. I'll put hit, I'll put a mark here, a line, and I'll put hit. Well, that thing went to the side on me. I'll, I'll have it glued. But anyway, I'll put it right there. And that way you can barely see a crack in it. So it's going to look like there's really not a drawer there. And it's kind of like a side, all one side. But it'll have a little crack. And that way the door will, if it's up here, the, the door will still open. And then if there's a little discrepancy, if there's a discrepancy, I can always come in here with the sander and just take your straw out and just sand, sand the top down just a little bit to 
to give me the clearance. So let me start gluing that and glue it on there. And uh, I'll come back and show it to you once it's glued on there. Okay. I've got them uh, sitting down there. And what I did is I made a mark around it. I don't know if you can see the black mark. I made a mark all the way around. So I know where it was set at. And I just set it down flat and set my uh, drawer on it. I clamped it down. And then I got uh, just annuals. Got annuals sitting on top of it. Got eight of them. Pretty heavy, so. Those will uh, sit there. And I'll just let them sit there all night. Like I said, it's, it's 1230 right now, so. It's time for bed. I'll let them sit there. Till in the morning. Tie it up, and then I can do the other side. And we can work on uh, the top drawer. And then I still got to do the back twos. But there it is. I'll see you in the morning. Let's try it for seven hours. It's uh, 9.08 a.m. And there's the drawers. Let's see how I cut it. So it's got a little crack. And that way you get on open up. And then close. So it opens and closes. Good. I've got this side done. And this side done. See my cat again in a box. Cast load boxes. So these scrap pieces I got just from cutting the sides. Uh, and I think I'm just going to put them here. So I think I'm going to put them up top. It's going to have another top on it, as you know. So I'm going to uh, I'm use these scrap pieces. And put on here. So let me let me put those on. See my dog over there, which you've seen him in other videos. <laughs> Max, what you doing? What you doing? I think he's hot. Summertime here. So I'm gonna put these uh. I'm going to put these on, these scrap pieces, and I might have to cut me one or two more. But that's okay. This stuff smells awesome. I'll let you see. I don't have much of a gap on the edges. I haven't done the back yet, but that's that's how that's going to sit. And that's just pretty good. So, don't have much of a gap. Look over here. You see, not much of a gap when the door's closed. So, so there it is. Let me let me glue these pieces on here up top. I've, they're already cut. So all I had to do was just cut them just a little bit more. So I went ahead and did that when I seen them out there. I was like, I can put a top on this bottom. So let me glue those on, and uh, we'll come back. I've got the pieces glued down. You can probably see a little bit of my glue sticking out there. And I'll wipe that up before it dries real quick. I just wanted to show you. I just got it done. So I'm going to take these annuals. And just set them up here. Set them on all three boards. I'm going to take this annual. And set it. So I'll set all these annuals on top of it just like that right there. And I didn't put this in there just in case my drawer, just in case a little glue come out, which I don't feel any. But I didn't want it to glue the top to the drawer. That'd be bad. So let me put them manuals up there before it dries. And uh, let that set up. That's going to take another eight hours. And I still got to cut. You see right here. I still got to cut one more piece. And go around it and then i still have to do the back but the back could be pretty easy it's just basically i'm going to cover these ends here and these ends here but as you see by gluing them on there i have zero and by putting this up here uh, on the top you will not see those screw holes and i was going to cover them all in sawdust like down here and sand them just like i did but we're done the cedar Covers them anyway. So you see no, just like on 
the fancy ones, the good furniture makers, you see no, no screw holes. But then again, they do, they tie it together and everything. And I'm not that good. So let me finish putting them manuals on there. And we'll let it dry and we'll come back after it's dry. All right, we're back. And I've got it finished except right here on the back, I want to put uh, three boards going up. And that way it seals the back off. Uh, this is going to be open on the sides. The bottom, middle or what you want to call that, the little gap in between the top. So he's got like a shelf. Uh, but it'd be open on the sides. But the rest of it's finished. I hope the lighting in here is good. I'll take you around and show it to you. I sanded the best I could so you see the... Everything's flush, the sides. These sides. All flush. The drawers. Drawers. There's still a little crack where they separate. Try to get down there. A little crack where they separate. So it's almost finished. Here's this side. Right there you can see the top better. You see the wood. So it's almost finished. I just got to put my top on and uh, put the cedar on it. And then if I'm going to do a uh, a river running through it, then I'll do that. But uh, I won't make up my mind on that until, until I get it on there. And we'll see how it is. So we'll come back when I have when I have the uh, the top. I got to put those three boards together and glue those together and. Then I'll put the top on. And then once I get the top, then I'll put the cedar on it. So we'll be back. Okay, I got the wood for my top. You can see it's pine, which I'm going to cover it in cedar. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue them together first. And I'm going to use these clamps to do the side and then these clamps to hold them together. And all I've got is two. I don't think I need one in the middle. That's, that's pretty good. But if so, I can... Put another one in the middle, it don't matter. But anyway, let me go ahead and I'm going to put a ton of glue on it. I don't care if it strips down. I put the plastic underneath. So I don't care if it drips down any on it. So let me glue these. So I'm just going to hold this up. And I'm not even going to spread it out. I'm just going to put a ton of glue on them. A ton, a ton of glue, because I don't want this ever breaking. So, there's a ton. And that should be enough for this side, too. But I'm going to just leave that up for just a second, Amber. All right. Let's do this side first. That way we can just slide it on. Put a ton, a ton of glue. There's a plenty. Now let's sit this one down first, sit this one down next, and sit this one up against it. Now go ahead and put your uh, put your thing there. Yep, and let's put this in there. Go ahead. Tighten it up. Go ahead. I'll push them down. You just tighten it up. I'll push them down. You got it? Yes. Okay. That's tight. Yeah, and all of them are. You see all of them stay right there? Go ahead and tighten these up. Yep. Ho, ho, untighten those a little bit. Untighten. Oh, I see what we've got. Yeah. Yeah, I want you to put uh, put these... Uh, I'll, I'll slide these down a little bit. There. I got Where's this one. The other one. Yeah, get you here. I got. I had you. That's all right. Use that. That's fine. Yeah. Now let's do it. Wait up. Let me tighten. Okay, go ahead. 
You got it? This one's tight. And okay, let me, okay, go ahead. This one's as tight as I can get it. Okay, that's fine. Let me just push down. Make sure it's there. See how the glue's popping up there? That's mm -hmm. good. That's what I want. I want a ton of glue everywhere. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to pour glue right over that hole. I just want to make sure it hits sealed. And then I'll wipe it up. What we'll do is if you'll go ahead and get you some uh, wet paper towel amber, we'll, we'll wipe that up. And there we are. I'll tighten it up here just to make sure it's tight. My 16 year old might not be able to tighten it as tight as I want it. And there you go, we gotta just wipe it straight. That's good, that's good. Flip it over, that's good. That's good. I know, I have to That's good, it. we'll get another one. You can actually use these popsicle sticks, Amber, and pick it up like that. There you go, if you wanna wipe it. Now we're gonna let that uh, dry for 24 hours and and uh, we'll be back. There, there it is. That has it. You get it? Yes. Okay. Oh, we'll dry. be fine. As you see, I've got it on. I've already screwed it down. Uh, there. Now it's focused. I put them inside, and then I went ahead and put uh, try to focus. There it is. One of them put knobs on. So there's the knobs. And I went ahead and cut cut the uh, top to put the top on. So that's all done. So let me go ahead and uh, glue the top on and we'll come back. And we're finished. Finally. Furniture making is a slow process. I think I've been on it uh, for two weeks now on this. And uh, I'll show it to you up close. So at the front. I already put my, my son's underwear. Nothing in the bottom except his shorts. He said he wanted to put his shorts in there. So. There's the right side. See what the table looks like. I love how the white comes in some of those cedar boards, but you can see it. I'll let you see straight down the table. If I can get it. There you go. I'll let you see how square it is. Everything's square. And label. The back. Uh, this I put the back on the inside. This, well, as you can see, it's it's on the inside, but the this is on the outside, so that's why you have the little lip right there. There's the back. And then the other side. So... Thank you all for watching my channel. Please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, this video is not a tutorial. It's uh, it's it's me making my son uh, a nightstand in table, and I, I know there's 
It might help you uh, show you a few things, but uh, more than likely, it's probably going to show you what not to do. How to build an end table nightstand. Because there's there's a lot better ways than what I did. But, uh, you know, I don't have all those tools. But the main thing is, is I'm not a carpenter. I told you that at the beginning. And if I can build this, and I can have it square, level, and, and I can have it looking really good because I love the way it turned out. It is beautiful. And it smells great. And, and if I can do that, anybody in this world can do this. They just have to, to want to do it. And like I said, my, uh, my son knew the place to put his underwear. So... Being the dad that I am, I'm going to make sure my son has a place to put his underwear. So, that's what I did. And if I can do it, anybody out there can do it. Man or woman. It doesn't matter. But if you have any uh, ways to tell me how to improve what I did without having those things... And uh, let me know. Please comment. I'm in on the video and let me know what you think. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye.